The objective of our study was to look at whether aircraft noise was associated with cardiovascular hospital admissions among older populations in the United States. Uh, people who live in, a, in and around airports know that there are a lot of sources of noise. Uh, there's traffic, construction, pedestrian activity. In our study, we really focused on what aircraft taking off and landing contributed to noise uh, around E9 of the larger airports across the United States. In our analysis, we found that even when controlling for air pollution, proximity to roadway, individual demographics, and socioeconomic status, that a 10 decibel increase in noise was associated with a 3.5% increase in cardiovascular hospital admissions, and this was statistically significant. About 2.3% of the cardiovascular hospital admissions in this population were associated with aircraft noise. It was about 6.8% uh, for fine particulate matter, one form of air pollution, and 4.2% for ozone, another form of air pollution. This study was actually the largest uh, study looking at airport-related noise and cardiovascular disease or cardiovascular hospital admissions uh, with six million people living uh, near 89 airports across the United States. Uh, most prior studies have looked at one or a small number of airports, so we had enough statistical power to be able to see an association. Aircraft noise has been associated with such reactions and responses as sleep disturbances, sleep disordered breathing, nervousness, annoyance, and it depends on the context in which noise occurs. So what are you doing or wish to be doing? For example, if you wish to be sleeping. So your reactions of nervousness or the disturbance of your sleep can trigger the release of stress hormones or activate your sympathetic nervous system. Um, studies have linked the release of stress hormones and activation of your sympathetic nervous system to outcomes that are related to cardiovascular health. And as we know, cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death and is especially prevalent in the older population. There have been a non number of studies linking aircraft noise to hypertension or high blood pressure. And so we were really interested in looking at the relationship between aircraft noise and cardiovascular disease. Uh, a nice feature of the study is that we linked uh, several large databases. Um, we had the opportunity of accessing health information from uh, the Medicare cohort, which is the equivalent of a national um, health insurance in the US. That provides individual level information about hospital, hospitalization uh, for mostly the, for the largest population of elderly. For this population, we know the zip code of residents, and so we were able to link um, health information through information provided by the Federal Aviation Administration on aircraft noise for the, uh, the elderly that live close to the air, an airport. So by having access to this a large amount of information, we constructed what we believe is the largest population to date of elderly living close to an airport and use information from the Federal Aviation Administration of the level of exposure to aircraft noise. So our study is part of PARTNER. This is a multi-university cooperative research organization uh, funded by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration as well as other funders. Partner looks at a number of different issues related to noise and emissions including exposures and health effects and so our study connects with a lot of research trying to better understand aircraft noise, where it comes from, how people are exposed and what the implications are.